Okay, so re-rack the motivational speeches uh, for the Jets team dinner. Didn't quite take because the Steelers yeah. had 22-point victory. They had 10 points. They finished at 37. The Jets stayed put at 15. 31 unanswered, Kyle. It was a beautiful thing in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I mean, the energy was off because they haven't won a game in a month, and they pick and choose who they're going to play and who they're going to bring in. They don't feel like a real team. But let's do the service, guys. We have a brand-new uh, connection that we're going to watch. It was much hyped. It was talked about all week. And on Sunday night, here you go, the quarterback and the wide receiver connection. Let's bring it out, the one that was really, yeah, give me Pickens and Russ. <laughs> Oh. Give me Pickens and Russ. Oh, yeah. George Pickens looked like a superstar last night. Every catch was this freakish circus catch. And honestly, I really mean this. A few drives into the game, the Pittsburgh crowd was getting really restless, and it didn't look like it was working at all. It looked like bad Denver Russ. And then it's like, I don't know, Peter, you just started throwing to, like, Jermaine Curse and Doug Baldwin and Sidney Rice. And he, he cooked. <laughs> he absolutely cooked. And if you weren't watching the game for some reason, there was this incredible thing where every time Russ did anything good or bad, it would immediately go to Justin Fields on the sideline. Like, they showed him 50 times. As many times as they showed Taylor Swift all of last year, they showed Ooh. Justin Fields more <laughs> in the first quarter of last night. They were breaking the record on that, and they should have. And he was ready to go. And you're like, in the red zone, are they going to put him in? Are they going to put him in now after three now? No. And you know what? I don't have a shot of how Mike Tomlin walked into work today, but I have a feeling it was probably like that, that Mr. McMahon. Yeah, like yeah, that yeah. thing like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come, Mike Tomlin's like, whoa, 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 hold on. Why did I put Russell Wilson in? Because I'm bleeping Mike Tomlin, yeah. and I know what I'm doing. And every person and every blah, 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 he's like, what are you doing? He's four and two. I've seen a lot of Justin Fields. You've seen a lot of Justin Fields. I knew what I had in Russ. I put him in. I was right, and you're not. Let's go on. We're five and two. Mike Tomlin, have a day. He looked great today. Yeah, yeah he did. And, and, and there's that little Yachty yeah. meme when he comes out. Yeah. Uh, little Yachty when he comes out and he's doing. Oh, oh you mean on the stage? Oh, yeah, oh, stage. Get up now. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's him. That's it. On the stage. That's it. I on the that. stage. That was starts it up at the at the festival. That was. <laughs> Uh, I went McMahon. There, there's another wrestling one that starts up like this, yeah, but I'm not going to do that. Not in the hey, morning. You, not if you, you can't finish it. No. Yeah. Finish but, like, Mike no. could finish it if he wants to yeah. this morning. He, he could. could. Probably Mike, has. sorry. Yeah, you, you know, for me, you know, when you're talking about uh, R Russell Wilson, I mean, you know, the biggest difference between Russell Wilson and Justin Fields was that ability to take those shots down, especially after play action. I mean, the production that he had was amazing. But I thought the whole story was the growth of the story of Russell Wilson started off very slow. Yeah. He started getting booed. Yeah, they yeah, were definitely. booing him. But once he settled in, it was like, all right, I got the rhythm of this offense. I would just say to the fans over in Pittsburgh, give the man some grace. He hasn't played football since December of last year. I mean, so he had to, he didn't have no preseason. He didn't really get a chance to warm up into this offense, but because he's this veteran, he was able to warm himself up, get going. He found his guy Pickens. That play action I'm talking about, it worked wonder. You heard Chris Collinsworth talking throughout the game, mm -hmm. talking about that moon ball. I had never heard it called as a moon, the ball, moon ball, but it was like the little teardrop, ball. just kind of up yep. and over it's and down. beautiful. And it was such a big difference in that production of offense, but also give credit to, to the run game. That run game was very, very strong, which helped set up a lot of that passing. Mm -hmm. I sat here at this table on September 5th. Okay. What did you say on September 5th? And I confidently, uh -huh. perhaps brazenly, uh -huh. looked at the camera and said, the New York Jets will be the number one seed in the AFC and Aaron Rodgers will be the MVP of the league. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was wrong. Mm -hmm. That's not going to happen. And it's not going to happen because this is a team that seems to be a bunch of great names, and yet freakish things seem to go wrong every single game. If you didn't watch, I put together a little highlight reel with our producers here of some of the stuff that just happened yesterday. This was one of the biggest plays of the game. Off a helmet, six bobbles, pickings <laughs> for 50 yards. That doesn't happen against any other team. Here's Pat Fryermuth, who all of a sudden becomes Odell Beckham on a third and eight. I didn't know Fryermuth had that in him. No one did. <laughs> How about this interception here? Are you serious? Oh, that God. doesn't happen Never. against anyone but the Jets. You're right. And then, of course, after not cutting him, and after saying, we're going to give him another shot here because I don't know why, after missing a chippy last week and missing against the Denver, Ooh. Greg Zerline gets another kick 
blocked because the one that earlier was blocked was actually overturned, so we had to do it again so we could. Peter, is he a Supreme Court justice, Greg Zerline? It, it, he, he can't he, fire him? Unassailable. <laughs> yeah, like lifetime job no matter what. Lifetime Greg job. Greg Zerline is forever the kicker of the Jets. He'll be I mean, he has. years old. He's got a great situation. Wow. Great Must benefit, be awesome. Huh? Kickers, they, have, they have tenure. Yes, if you know anything about the NFL, it's that kickers are given a chance time and time and time again. Well, Greg Zerline apparently does. Incredible. I'll tell you this. The Jets were up in this game 15 to 6. Yeah. 15 to 6. Yeah, they, they lost well. 37 to 15. Mm -hmm. And then Rodgers has, I'm not going to say the gall, but he says, like, we were flat in pregame. We were flat. Like, bro, like, they fired the coach to get a spark. Yeah. We brought in Devontae Adams. Right. To get a spark. We yeah. just this morning have news that Hassan Reddick is coming to get a spark. I don't know what to say. I, I can't give up on them because I'm too deep into it. <laughs> and they play the Patriots this week and the Texans on a short week at home. And, like, we could wake up in 10 days and then it, they're 4 and 5 and they're still alive. But things go wrong for the Jets that don't go wrong for other teams. And at some point it's not a coincidence. At okay. some point it's just what it is and that the ball bounces a certain way. And it's because those other teams come in more prepared and maybe more cohesive. I, I don't want to make any excuses for them, but, I mean, they did have a lot of injuries. Um, they all, you know, especially on the defensive side. And then during the game, they had injuries on offense and defense. And, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's tough. But to you have that quarterback <laughs> yeah. and you have that wide receiver who you got this week. And to Peter's point, you made those types of changes in order to fix this thing. Peter, New York could have had a day yesterday. The Liberty won WNBA mm. title. The Yankees are going to the World mm. Series. The Jets just ruined it. They took a bucket of water and they put the fire out. Come on. How are your mm. friends feeling these days? I will give uh, Devontae Adams' biggest play was a tackle on an undrafted rookie <laughs> defensive back. That, that, yeah. that was the that biggest was play big, of the game. That was a mm -hmm. big one. Mm -hmm. uh, this team has beaten the Patriots and the Titans. That's it. Those are their two wins. Yep. So uh, let me ask you, are, are we at the point where we're done? Like, why, why I said we, I can't be done because of their They're two schedule. and five. But you have your own personal reasons. I'm yeah. talking about editorially. Like, do we keep talking the Jets? They're terrible. Like, terrible. They haven't won a game in over a month. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. A chance for what? We had talked about them going 9-2, and two, right? That's now out of this. So 9-1 and one now. Uh, it's a lock of playoff spot. Okay, so <laughs> well, nine. No, In all honesty, they're three games back from the Bills, and the Bills already beat them head-to-head. -head. So they're yeah. done. I don't think the AFC East is legitimate. Mm -hmm. But Dolphins could be two wins. Patriots could be another win, and then suddenly you're in that murky thing, but they're not winning the division. But at this point, yeah. those would be, yeah. like we always say, empty calories because what does it matter if they make it to yeah. the first week in of January right. and totally. they would lay an egg? Like, the night before the game, we're referencing the great motivational speakers. We have. You just traded for Devontae Adams. Yeah. Right. Like, yep. you need someone to go up there and tell you guys, let's, like, it's a high school team. Yeah. It's two and five, bad team. They're very interesting. They're mm -hmm. very bad. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I really mean that. What other take is there? We should talk about other teams. We